This video is brought to you by something funny. Uh, use your imagination. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is me, right here. See, it, it looks like me, don't you think? Right, okay, so I've been on YouTube officially for a year now and I wanted to make a video to celebrate. To celebrate my year of rambling and building and bitching and coincidentally, I stumbled upon a really old save file that has all of my very first builds intact. Now, these are terrible. I mean, so bad and embarrassing that I thought, yeah, let's share this on the internet. What could possibly go wrong? So without further ado, let's head over to Spectacle Island and see what kind of shit show we have going on over there. Alright, here is my wall. A huge eyesore over embellished with American flags because that's how we do it in America, apparently. I mean, I built this over a year ago when the game first came out and I had no idea that this would be any kind of foreshadowing of things to come in this country. But holy shit, let's not open that can of worms. Ah, uh, this is hovering. Look at the gap. Okay, I just I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. This is bad. I mean, look at the railings. They're the exact same. Didn't try to mix it up at all. And, uh, oh, this makes sense. Yeah, let's just jump up on the wall, walk around, because it's really a bunch of floors stacked on top of each other. Now, I'm being really hard on myself, I know, but it's because I was so proud of this stuff. I thought it looked amazing to the point where I created a Twitch account so I could broadcast this and show it off to my buddies. Like this is pre any type of game recording, video editing, YouTubing days. And yeah, I thought it looked so awesome, but it doesn't. It's like replaying an old game from your childhood that you thought had amazing graphics, but really it looks like a bunch of third graders made origami characters and someone made a video game out of them. Ah, uh, do you remember these signs? Like, I would put a bunch of generators next to each other, like I did here, and then stack these light boxes and use the no smoking or restroom signs to make letters out of them. I thought it was so cool and clever that I did it with every possible building. Ah, the clinic. I was really proud of this one. I guess because it was the only building that wasn't an exact square. I mean, close, but it has a little bit of depth to it. And you know, it's really not that bad inside. I still decorate my clinics like this, only a little better. Oh, come look at my house. Yep, this is it. A three-story box with only two different walls and uh, a weird-looking pier that barely goes out into the water. But don't worry, it does get better on the inside, so let's take a look. Ah, I lied, it actually gets worse. It's literally just four corners that I didn't know what to do with, so I only decorated two sides. And I put a jukebox right here by the stairs because, I mean, you gotta have a jukebox. And upstairs really doesn't look that bad. This bedroom part is pretty okay, and this side is, you know, I guess. There are still many things that I would change, like all of it. And what's with all these chairs up here? I mean, it's my house, so it makes sense to have enough seating for 40 people. Not to mention the four guard posts that we have up top, which I guess is just there to help me sleep better at night. Oh, this part down here is my cemetery burial site place. I built it around this dolphin looking thing because I didn't want to look at it anymore and I had all of these dead bodies laying around the island so I carried every single one of them all the way over here, put them in this hole and covered it up with this fountain statue thing not knowing that as soon as I loaded up the game again the bodies would spawn back into their original locations rendering everything that I just did pointless. Thanks Bethesda! Okay now I have no words for this. This massive unnecessary structure. You can tell I was just having fun at this point, which I was, but at the same time I was incredibly proud. I remember bragging about the lion statues with the spotlights next to them, like my god guys, who thinks of this? I do, because I'm a genius. And you know what will make it so much better? An American flag, right in the middle. Glorious. Now this is like what, six or seven floors? I only decorated two, and then one more at the top, which were my penthouse suites. Let's quickly take a look. So 
So this is the last part of Spectacle Island I'm going to show you. I did build a couple of houses on the other side of the island, but they are just smaller versions of what you've already seen in this build. Now this over here is my trailer park. Get it? Because I built on top of all these trailer container things. Ah, you, you, you get it. So I still like the idea of this, you know, building a bunch of different rooms within these containers. And up top, I have even bigger rooms and I built stalls for vendors, but never got around to actually putting shops in there. So I might revisit something like this later on, or at least a full settlement with these kind of containers. All right, last but not least, this is the very first thing I built in the game. My house in Sanctuary. Complete shit. Aww. I used the exact same walls over and over and built some kind of wooden crown thing on top. I don't even remember what that's for, but this is it. The, the first thing that I built. So the downstairs is fully decorated and really not that bad for what it is. You know, you see a lot of the same stuff that I do now, but the upstairs is terrible. I didn't know what to put in here just because I didn't give myself any corners or angles to work with. It's just a wide open space which is very difficult to decorate and to make look good. But yeah, as I'm wrapping up, I'll take you through my treehouse and basketball court. I don't even play basketball, but I thought it looked cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun for me to relive these builds and remember how I started. I really didn't care for the idea of building when I first started playing. It just didn't seem like anything I would want to do or even be good at or have a YouTube channel dedicated to it. But after I started playing around with stuff like this, I haven't been able to stop. And, uh, and you guys are a huge inspiration and motivation for me to keep building. This past year has been so much fun and made me realize a passion I didn't even know I had, which is making videos. So thank you all for your support. It really means the world to me. So here's to another year. I will have another build video up next week, so be on the lookout for that. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and keep building.